everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like by hitting the thumbs up. And also check out my other platforms as well. You may click on my about page to learn more about me. Also on my sippingreview.com website. I have information for you to contact me. And do not forget to follow me on my Instagram page at Sip and Review. Let's get started, guys. So, today I will be doing something a little bit different. I want to start doing regular television shows. In particular, this is an individual that I love. I absolutely like her music. And I just overall like her personality. Queen Latifah in the Equalizer show, and it comes on CBS on Sundays, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And in this television show, Queen Latifah plays Robin, and she has a daughter named Delilah, and she's a retired CIA agent. Her daughter and her they were trying to pick out a dress, you know, just window shopping at this moment. And I don't like the dress. And Queen Latifah felt like she needed a dress that had more material on it. You know how moms are. They don't want their daughters to be looking like a hot mama showing too much of skin. So, moving on. So, there was a scene where this young lady named Jewel, she was at work and, you know, she was busy at the end of her ship, getting everything ready to close up shop, she was on her cell phone talking and cleaning up, and she went to take the trash out. So, while she was taking her trash out, there was a man, he yelled, and he got shot in front of her. The man that got shot was a drug addict, according to what the team members said of Queen Latifah. So they shot him and left him for dead. So they saw her. She streamed and she ran back into the restaurant. So she hid. They couldn't find her because they want to kill her. They do not want to leave any witnesses that could identify them. So the cops got there. And while she was waiting at the police station... The cops went to the back room, the detectives, and they viewed the video. And the video showed that she was the one that shot him. Now, if you watch the show, you would know that she did not shoot him. So, that was some pretty high-tech technology that they were using to make it look like she actually shot the man when she did not. So, move on to Queen Latifah. William is the guy that she used to work for in the CIA. William asked Queen Latif to come back to the agency, and she declined. He said that she was the best they ever had. And also, Queen Latif, she often have meetings with William to discuss business matters. So, moving on. Queen was out, you know, minding her business. She started the girl named Jewel. So, these men set her up. They were supposed to be giving her a new ID, and a passport or whatever so she could leave the country because at this point she was wanted by the police because after they saw that it was her that shot the man when actually she didn't, she was able to run up out of the police station, okay? So, Queen just happened to be at the, in the right place at the right time. You know, she got a hunch and she was right. Something was wrong. You know, you don't usually see kids going into... A warehouse of sort with a young lady and especially a black girl with a white man that time of night something must be going on so queen kicked their asses did you at least pinch the bitch they didn't even have time to even breathe okay when i tell you queen latifah was all over that ass aka robin because that is her name on his she dragged every last one of them she was very quick on her feet and quick with the gunplay as well so they moved on to the parts of where queen latifah got the girl out of there and she went to meet one of the fellas of her crew 
and she told him that NYPD was the target. So Robin is on a stakeout. She's telling the perps. She saw them digging in her trash. So they want the girl dead, of course, because she can ID them. So they're trying to find out her whereabouts. They found the girl cell phone and trash as well. Now let's talk about Jewel Moore. She's a smart girl with a prominent future ahead of her. She scored high on her SATs. She's never been into trouble. She's up for a scholarship because of her academic achievements. This is a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And actually, she was minding her own business at work where she should have been at that moment. So this is a, another innocent person that could go to jail for something that they did not do. Moving on. So, they stashed Jewel in the safe house. Uh, Robin and her team. Jewel didn't stay put now. The lady told her, do not leave from this apartment because she was wanted. She did not listen. You know how hard-headed some people are. She wanted to make it to her scholarship meeting because she said that was all she had. It was her only chance to make it. So, unknowingly, she still left the property. When she arrived to her scholarship meeting, the police was there waiting on her. So, they brought her back to the police station. And Robin, she has many disguises now. She's really good at being another person because that's what she does. She works for the CIA. So, she came in undercover pretending to be the girl's lawyer. And the guy didn't know who she was. She lied and told that she, him that she just started and she's replacing someone else. So, Robin was able to get her out of prison. Well, she was actually in prison, but she was able to get her from the police station. And get this, the detective told Robin that he knew the girl was innocent. He had a hunch that something just wasn't right because he already read the girl profile. You know, he knows that she's a good kid who has never been in trouble. She's a very smart student. She just goes to school and go to work. So he knew that something was not right. What would make someone like her just shoot someone if she wasn't defending herself so they were set to transport the girl right we moved on to that scene because they wanted to transport her to big house so robin had been tracking the bad guy's phone so she was able to hear what they had planned so Robin and her team, the other lady was a sniper on the roof, cocked and ready just in case shit went down. Robin was on a motorcycle, you know, she pulled up on the transport van and the transportation van, I'm sorry. And she was able to get the girl from out of the back of the vehicle and she put her on her motorcycle with her and that was that she brought the girl back to the safe house where she had her stash and told her but not to leave and i hope this time she learned her lesson so robin had got a call that said her daughter was into trouble because she stole a dress that her mother told her that she couldn't have remember that dress that needed more material it was a pretty silver dress that the girl wanted and she was supposed to actually be going with her father. So instead of her going to her father's house, she ditched her dad's house. And she wanted to go and hang out with her friends. So she wanted to wear that dress so she could look good. You know, how that is peer pressure. And she was trying to make it seem like she had it going on like that in the fashion world. Because her mother wanted her daughter to be... A certain way a good girl if you will 
So, of course, she grounded her daughter while looking at her daughter's library book. She figured out what the code meant. So, there is a reason why this man got killed. It wasn't just the fact that it was just his drug dealer. It goes deeper than that. So, when she got to the library, she found the code. But, she wasn't paying attention to her surroundings. He hit her in the head with the gun and he knocked her unconscious. Now they got her tied to a chair and they were torturing her. So they must not really know who she is laughing my ass off. Now Robin, she's a smart girl. She already had plan B just in case shit went down before she even went to the library to get the code because she's been here done that before she had been working for the cia for a very long time so robin already had them on standby she let them torture her a little bit on purpose because she already knew she had a backup plan and she said those cold words that they usually do because you know they usually make a cold word to let them know when it's time for them to move in so they moved in and that shit was so smooth, y'all. So, Robin was able to get all of the charges dropped against Jewel. And Jewel made it to her scholarship meeting. And I'm so happy to see that she was able to make it. I just hope that they still gave her her scholarship because she is a good kid. She just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, Jewel's case inspired Robin to make help innocent young people with no one to turn to something that her and her crew would do long term so that is going to be the theme of this show this is only episode one so moving forward on next episode they will be helping other innocent victims and i'm just looking forward to seeing the rest of the season and how it plays out guys if you have not watched queen latifah in the equalizer on cbs Go and catch it so you can follow me in my commentary on this show. Again, it comes on Sundays, 9 p.m. Central and 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And guys, do not forget to check out my other platform, SippingReview.com. Also, check out my podcast on Sipping Review. Follow me on Instagram, Sipping Review. Also, do not forget to hit that subscribe hit the bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and you all have a blessed day and i will see you on my next commentary bye now